So it keeps you engrossed. I can be, I, and, and our friend Billy said this, said this perfect. He hates to be <clears> alone. I like being alone. But when I think about it, I'm not really alone. I'm talking to somebody on the, my Facebook. I'm texting somebody. But I'm in the comfort of my own house, my own remote. You know, if you're gone, everybody's gone. I don't have to go out. I enjoy that because I'm right here. You know, but a lot of times uh, I, I play to that. When we're sitting there watching TV, I honestly really don't care what's on TV. So you, you know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> very, se- very seldom do I take the remote because there's something I want to see. True. If I do have it and it happens going to commercial, and you know I ain't paying attention. TV's watching me. Hey, <laughs> and that remote. <laughs> yeah, because I really don't care. I you know, do we got the shows. Down. We got Family Guy, Cleveland. Yeah. You know, the Food Network. Yeah. Sports. A bunch of shows we watch. You know, ESPN. But other than that, I really don't care what's on TV. I now, know. speaking of busy lives, <clears throat> it's got to play a part in your exercise, the way we eat, your stress level. And speaking of that, there was a coach that stepped down from one of the most high-profile yeah. yeah. <laughs> football programs in the, in, the, in the nation. Now, he's stepping down, Irving Fryer, Meyer. Urban Meyer. Yeah. Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer is stepping down from the University of Florida after the bowl game, mm-hmm. after they play Cincinnati. <clears throat> because I don't realize, he's 45. And in the last four years, he's had chest pains. Everything is stress-related. Heart's fine. He's been in the hospital four or five times due to symptoms like a heart attack. We were talking about that. That's a lot of stress. He spent 24 years as a college coach. And at some point, you got it, you made a great thing. If you, He's stepping down for health reasons only because it could get worse. You know, that, well, that stress Well, it's is, a simple thing. He's a college football coach, so you know – Seven months out of the year, it is 14, 15, 16-hour days. Yeah. And, and we understand that because we put in a, a lot of long hours. And it's, it's not like we're driving a nail for 16 hours. Right. But it's, it's a mental process of, oh, God, we got to do this. We got to do that. Oh, did so-and-so, did you call so-and-so? Are they going to show up? What yeah. about the extra? It's just a non-stop Pain in the elbow. Exactly. And now Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just stress in my elbow. It could be. It could be. <clears throat> but like you, don't step down because we need you. Not yet. Just uh, sling it up. Sling it up. If we don't find these other two kids we need for this movie, we may step, may just step down. Yeah. Yeah, we got, we got, we're having trouble finding two kids. Might have to do a little bit of uh, finagling, finagling. Yeah. You know what? Taco Bell has a new commercial. Mm-hmm. And a girl... Has lost 54 pounds off of Taco Bell, off the Fresca, am I right? Fresco, Fresco menu, and we eat there. I mean, we when we stop through it after bowling, the it's it, all it is is meat and pico de gallo. That's all it is. No, it has, it has beans, it has beans, it has lettuce, has pico de gallo and the meat, but it don't have the sour cream. It don't cheese. have the cheese. No. You know, so and you can get a fresca taco, burrito, a little bowl. <laughs> but she said I lost fifty four pounds. Now it's not going to happen for everybody. Same way as the Subway diet is not. But it's so simple. It is calories in, calories out. It was like you said, cutting your 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 plate size down, your portion size, folks. You're, you're talking about fast food that makes you fat, and because people are lazy, is the same fast food that this girl went. I, I'm just going <clears> to have. You don't got to give up anything. Just give up putting so much in your freaking mouth and not doing nothing. Well, it's the same thing. You you, you can't eat 13 fresco tacos. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, it just it don't work that way. It's it's simply calories in. And if you go, what is it, 1,600 for women? 12. 1,200 for women, 2,000 for men. If, if you just count your calories and stay under that, you will not gain weight. Exactly. It, it, it can't happen. Right. Well, it may if, if thyroid or something, but nine yeah. times out of ten, you 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 will okay. just maintain. That's exactly right. 
That's exactly right. It is coming from the fitness. The guru. The guru himself, folks. Hey, listen. Don't start it yet. Just Wait because. The first year. Just because. I don't practice it. Don't, don't mean, mean I don't know about it. That's true. That's Except true. I did not know there was a Pilates machine. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know there was a Pilates machine. I actually have a couple of them. And you might want to look into a couple of them for some of the positions that <laughs> might help you with your elbow and some of your Pilates yeah. people. Mm. We're going to have to start stretching. It's mandatory. We already know it. That's just one thing we I got us a Pilates DVD, dude. Now, we probably going to have to lock the doors when we do Pilates yeah, yeah. to where nobody sneaks in on us and gets we, a picture. That's going to be great. Oh, guess what I'm going to do tomorrow? I'm going to gargle with hydrogen peroxide on the show. Yep. That came along with the with the, with the deal. deal. So we're going to do that. We're going to get out of here, but first, I want to talk about helping others. There's a lady in McGregor. Her name is Donna Smith, and you can read her at the in the Waco Trib, like I read it yesterday, about how she has taken it upon herself. She gives blood every 57 days. She makes trinkets, toiletries, bakes cookies, sends them all over to the soldiers in Iraq. Uh, she wants to make it like it went back in the day, back in World War II when the... USO. The USO. Would, basically, that's what it is. Adam McGregor. And we want to... We're going to hopefully call down there and find out where she's at. Uh, and hopefully have her go down there with uh, Gary, intern Gary, down to Fort Hood and maybe talk to a couple of these soldiers for us. Yeah, maybe you know, go down maybe. once a month and, and do some... Some video blogs to where we, we can, can post them out. on our yeah. site because they have access to computers. Yes, they do. Because we have uh, what's her name? She's Froggy Step. She's Froggy back. Step. She's back. Now. She's already back. She's back. She, she just went over, over there. there to say hi. And she came was back. over there a little while, but she is now back in clean. Hmm. And uh, anyway, we have other people that watch. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we can brighten their day. But I, I want to commend Miss Donna Smith on that because. She said a deal in the, in the article. Neither one of her six sons were in the military. But she said, you know what? It's just something. When you can do something for somebody and you don't, you know, this is this is her passion. So we salute her. Let's salute. I don't even know how to salute with I that. I saluted with the wrong hand anyway. My dad said I was right-handed. But, Ms. Donna Smith, thank you because that that's awesome. That is just, that's what it's about, man. I totally agree. That's what it's about. All right. <laughs> We're back on track, man. We are back. We had a great time. Now, we will be taking off probably when is New Year's Eve? We'll, we'll have a New Year's Eve show. Yeah. But we probably will not have a Friday show. Correct, correct. Unless we throw some back and uh, just happen to do a show. Yeah. Because we guess do what? It live. I think we're going to be at a, either a house party or here. We don't go out. Not a we'll be deal. at a house or a house party. Correct. So we'll be safe. And that's what we want. we want you guys to be safe. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Got a lot of things, good things coming up this year for Red Sea. Pass us around. Tell a friend about us. Because we want to brighten up somebody else's day. And we could always make fun of Chris and his elbow. I don't know if I can make it. Y'all need to send in support. We're going to start the Chris <laughs> Foundation for elbow placement and he needs to keep it in the sling. So you guys texting, you know, maybe just give him some time, let him heal. Cause he's no good to us wounded. Yeah, it's tough. Hey, tell you Uncle Charlie and I said hello when you see him. <laughs> I will. In fact right now you'll probably be able to see because I'll tell him to watch the show. Tell him right now. Tell Uncle Charlie. Hey, Uncle Charlie and uh, Sheila and the rest of your family Thank that you, you're fixing friend. to go visit. Yeah. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and are going to have a Happy New Year and a prosperous New Year because we are. Ooh, that dang right we are. Mm -hmm. Guess what, everybody? Have a great, wonderful Monday. We're glad to be back. And until tomorrow, I am Russ, he is Chris, and we are out of here. Mm -hmm.